Hi guys, welcome to another Fit Happens Keyzone workout. This is going to be a 30 minute kettlebell workout. If you've got a heavier kettlebell, you could do less reps and take more recoveries. If you've got a lighter kettlebell, you can go for it for the full minute. Make sure you've got a clear space round about you. Take recoveries as you need them and make sure there's not going to be any that get, gets in the way when you swing that kettlebell. Okay, here we go. Warm up. Okay, a bit of a warm up first and just give me some arm circles forwards. So just a general warm up for two minutes just to get the heart rate up and mobilise all of your joints and take those big arm swings backwards. Good. Long arms. Okay, opposite direction. One forwards, one backwards. Other opposite directions. Okay, hold top, figure eights down one side, down the other side. So a wee bit of mobilisation, some rotation into your spine. Good. And hold, bend your knees, lock your hips in. Twist, twist. So turn those shoulders. Try not to let those hips turn too much. Okay, make the arms a wee bit longer and let those carry the hips round with them. Warm up. And big figure eights down to one side, down to the other side, pivoting on that back foot. Good. And take that to jacks. So soft knees, take those legs in and out. If these are a bit tough, you could do half jacks, alternating sides. And hold there. Give me some knees. Just up the ball of the toe. Get those knees up. And a wee bit higher. Good, good. Nearly there. Okay, first we're going to practice doing a kettlebell swing, but without the kettlebell. Set your feet shoulder width apart, tilt the weight in your hips. Punch your hips swing. forwards. And drive. Your legs. You more or less create just a slight bend in those knees. So when it will load up your hamstring, you should feel a stretch here. Punch the hips forwards, breathe out. Breathe out, punch forwards. Good. Shoulders back. Keep those shoulders back and together. Good. Feet, don't let them turn. Keep them as if they're on train tracks. Good, 27 seconds left here. As it approaches the end of each minute, I'll demonstrate what the exercise is going to be before we get there. Okay. You're going to continue to do the exercise you're on at the moment. Okay, next exercise an alternating lunge. Head up, shoulders back, big step forwards, step back, other leg steps forwards, step back. So head up, push your knee towards the floor, go here now. Alternate lunge. Good. So as you're lunging side to side, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, push back, 90, 90. Keep that chest up. What we shouldn't see with a lunge is then the leaning forwards and leaning into the lunge. Chest stays up, back knee pushes down. Good. Keep going. That's it. Keep it up. Squat press. Okay, squat press, grab your kettlebell, backside down, squat, press, nice and easy, nice and easy, so very, very slow to begin with, just getting used to holding on to this kettlebell, if you need to, separate out that squat and the press, if you need to, separate those out, okay, first exercise, swing, swing. let's go, punch those hips, Drive that kettlebell forwards and up. Keep your shoulders back. Good. Feet, remember, as if they're on train tracks. And pull those shoulder blades back. Maintain good posture throughout the movement. Do not let your back round. That's bad for your back. Back flat, set your butt back the way. Punch the hips forwards. Good, 30 seconds left. Keep it up. 
Cry, cry. Hang in there. Okay, keep going. You're going to turn your left. Next, you're going to turn your left foot out. Palm forwards, kettlebell your left hand. Right hand in here. Sit your butt back the way as you rotate down. And come back up with a windmill. So head up. Windmill. Sit back into it. Push your butt back as if you're pushing it back against the wall. So imagine a wall behind you. You're trying to set that kettlebell back onto the wall. Good, 14 seconds, we will change sides. If you need to, get rid of the kettlebell. Get the technique before adding any load. Good, look at this top hand in the way around. Keep the arm vertical, change sides. Turn the toes out, palm forwards, head up. Sit back and come back up. Set your butt back, come back up. You can go as fast or as slow as you need to. Just keep moving most of the time. Good, good. 10 seconds left. Next exercise is going to be a lunge. You're just going to hold that kettlebell high. Do your lunge forwards. Step back. Lunge forwards. Step back. Lunge. Go here now. Good. Good. Remember, ideally, 90-90. So chest up, shoulders back. 90 degrees the front leg, 90 degrees the back leg. If you need to, come a bit shallower. Come a bit shallower. If you have to get rid of the kettlebell, get rid of the kettlebell. The important thing is keeping your chest up and maintain posture throughout the movement. Good, good, keep going. Fifteen seconds left. Okay, pendulum swing. Feet just slightly wider on the shoulder width. Imagine the pendulum on the clock. Pivot round, let it fall through the centre. Pivot that back leg round as you let that carry you through the middle. Okay, go here now. So start centre, bring a swing. swing. Up, pivot round. Keep your chest square to where that kettlebell is. Good, just let it Fall through the centre. Keep going, keep going. Keep those shoulders back. Maintain a good posture throughout all of the movements. What I don't want to see is empty rolling through the movement. Chest is up. You create momentum and control that momentum. Good, 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 good. Hang in there. 15 seconds left. Okay, next tactical lunge. Kettlebell starts in your right hand. Step back with your right leg. Pass under your left leg. Step back in. Pass under from tactical the outside. Lunge. Step back in. So pass, pass. Head up, shoulders back. Still the same as the other lunge. You're looking for 90-90. Step back in. What you don't want to have to do is lean down to pass that under your leg. You need to be low enough. That kettlebell is just going to pass under without leaning into the movement. So you go forwards or go back to this movement. Probably easier going backwards. Pitch, pick whichever movement is most comfortable for you to do. Good. Head up, remember. Do not lean into it. Do not lean into it. Okay, single leg deadlift. Kettlebell starts in your left hand. Left leg planted in the floor. You're going to tilt from your hips, keeping that left leg straight. Use the right leg as a counterbalance. Single and back leg up. deadlift. So this will work deep into those hamstrings. So this leg here is used to help you balance. Make sure you're hinging from the hip. Best way to imagine this is if you've been cracky chopped, at that hip, that's where it bends. What you should not do is bend your spine. So back flat, tilt in, and back up. Single leg deadlift. Good work. Change sides, change sides. You normally find one leg 
it's harder to balance on the other. Keep that going, keep that going. You're good. Okay, next exercise, you're going to start with a kettlebell upside down, elbows in. You're going to take it round behind your head, loop it round, and back to the front. So bottom up, front, bottom down behind your head, and back to where you started. These are called halos. Good, good, good. Get it moving. I'm going to do 30 seconds one way, and change and do 30 seconds the other way. That's it. Work, work. Good, good, good. Remember, loop it round. It should be close to your head without touching all the way around. Direction change. Get that going the other way. This works all the way around the shoulders and also watch your core. Remember, if you need more recoveries, absolutely take them. Ten seconds left. Okay, next exercise is a goblet squat. Imagine you're holding a large goblet of wine. Take your legs a wee bit wider on your hips, chest up, shoulders back. Goblet squat. Set your butt down as low as you can get it. And stand back up again. So butt goes down, chest stays up. So you shouldn't see you into doing this. This is not a squat. So set your butt into the floor and back up. If you can go all the way down, you absolutely should go all the way down. The only way you wouldn't is if you're carrying some kind of injury or you've almost had enough. Keep your chest up, set the weight in your heels, back up. Some of you, if you get tight hips, may find this easier. If you take those legs a wee bit wider, that might allow you to keep that upright posture a bit better. Keep those knees stacked over your ankles though. Keep those knees stacked over your ankles. Keep that chest up. Okay, side lunge with a high pull. We're going to go to your left hand side first. So you're going to lunge down, high pull on a catch, lunge down, high pull on a catch. Side lunge to so high step pull. it out, knee doesn't pass the toes, make sure your toes are angled out, back in the centre catch. Lunge, high pull catch. Lunge, high pull catch. Good. So if you're using your adductors in that straight leg, to pull you in. Keep your chest up as well. You don't lean into that movement. So lead with the elbows, flip and catch. Chain sides. Lunge, high pull catch. Lunge, high pull catch. Good, hang in there. Only 17 minutes to the end of the cool down. Good work. Okay, next exercise, bicep curl. Elbows tucked in by your ribs, curl towards your shoulders, back to the waist, squeeze it up, back down. Bicep curl. Good. Squeeze and release. Feels like if you feel this in your back, stagger the stance, put the weight in that back leg, keep those elbows as if they're nailed into your side. Elbows as if they're nailed into your sides. Good, good. Keep it up, keep those shoulders back. So right now we're just doing some upper body stuff before we go right back to the start, back in where we started with that swing. Good, good. After this, you're gonna do a push-up. Options for the push-up. Keep going with the bicep curl. Easiest option, knees under your hips. Hands level, but just slightly wider on the shoulders. Down, back up. Do not let your back collapse down the way, and do not put your hands in front of your shoulders. So, if you can go here, go here. Bit tougher, if you take your knees further back for the quarter press, abs still stays tight. You can get your chest to the floor, chest to the floor. If you can do a full push-up, absolutely do a full push-up. Pick whichever option is good for you. Most important thing is though, you don't put your hands forward on your shoulders, you'll never get to do the push-up. That is not a push-up. Hands stay back, level behind the shoulders, brace those abs. If you can hold the part of the way down, go part of the way down. It's what makes your chest work, 
Don't worry about stuff that you can do. Find something you can. Good, good, good. Keep those abs tight. Pick your option appropriate to you. The quarter press is there if you need it as well. 15 seconds left. Okay, next exercise is a staggered row. Keep going to push up. You're going to step your left leg back. Keep on your left hand. Straight line between your ankle, hips and shoulder. So roll your elbow up into your side. So you're staggering the feet and pulling up with that row. Good work. 20 more seconds, then we will change sides. So everything stays in line. Our elbow comes close and by your ribs. Good work. Change sides. Roll the elbow up by your side. Let's go, go, go. 15 seconds left. Okay, next one, triceps. Get away from your chest, elbows in. Push your arms up into the arm now. Get back behind your head. Straighten your arms. Back behind your head. Straighten your arms. Elbows in, elbows in. Stand a staggered stance. I hope to take you back a wee bit. Long arms, back down. Long arms, back down. If you need recoveries, back your chest, recover for a few seconds. Back up as soon as you can. Go through, recover. Go through, recover. Do what you need to do to keep going most of the time. That's it. Push, push. Hang in there. So after this, we're back to the start and we're back on this swing. 10 seconds. Remember that swing? Feet shoulder width just slightly wider. Shoulders back, head up. Pop your hips, drive your hips to push your arms away. Swing. The shoulders back, lift up. Good. So make sure when you tilt the hips, your back remains flattened out so nobody should be here, always here. Your forearms kind of come inside your thigh here, just off your groin. Drive the hips up, push it up. This way, imagine when your spine straight, the back of your head is in line with the back of your shoulders, which is in line with your tailbone. If you were to round your back, that happens. Here's where the power leaks out, there's where you get a sore back. The back remains flat throughout that swing. Keep going, 15 seconds left. After this, we're going to get into a windmill. Keep going with the swing. Okay, point your toes out, palm forward, other arm up in the air. You push your butt back, rotate your shoulders, come back up to the east side. Let's go. Good, good. This arm needs to remain vertical. If anyone wants to make it a bit tougher, you could put that foot there in your top hand. It's completely up to you which option you pick. We're doing 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. Hang in there, keep going. Okay, change hands. Point the toes out the other side. One foot points one way, one foot points the other. Slip back, rotate. Come back up. Slip back. Come back up. Good work. Remember, you're pushing your butt back the way. These legs are going to stay straight. If you need to put a slight bend in that front knee, you can. If you need to go a bit shallower, you also can. Pick whichever exercise makes it work for you. Okay, next you're into pendulum swings. So pivot round on that back leg. Lunge. As that kettlebell falls through the center. Good, 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 good. good. Push, push. Remember your torso's upright, you're letting it fall through and just going with it. Good work. 30 seconds left. 
Okay, next exercise, you're going to do a tactical lunge. So think about that, you're going to step back with one leg, pass under the leg with the other, leg, other hand, and then repeat on the other side. Okay, keep going. Tactical lunge, you're going to step back, pass under from the inside, step in, step back, pass under all the time, keeping your chest up. Go here now. Pendulum swing. Go here now. Pendulum swing, sorry. Keep going with the pendulum swing. Keep going with that pendulum swing. Think I might have messed the timings up. Just keep going anyway. Good work, keep going. Next one's definitely a tactical lunge though. Hang in there, keep going. Twelve seconds left. This should now be going to that tactical lunge. Okay, tactical lunge now. Step under. Step under. Chest up, shoulders back. Good, drop that knee, keep that chest up. Keep going. After this, we're going to move to a single leg deadlift. Remember, like all the other moves, you're going to keep your back flat as you tilt from your hips. The leg that lifts at the back is going to be used as a counterbalance. So start kettlebelling your left hand, stand on your left leg, tilt your hips, right, lift your right leg, and back up. Keep your body, the ankle, as flat as you can. Single leg deadlift. This will deep in those hamstrings and a wee bit of growth. So if you lose your balance, just keep that leg a bit lower. Just assist with that balance. Good. 20 seconds left. Keep those shoulders back. Keep going, keep going. Nearly there. Change sides, change sides. Help the hips. Everything stays square. Keep that leg almost straight. Good. Don't let it twist your body around. Try and stay fairly flat. Try and stay fairly flat. Next exercise is moving to a halo. Hang in there. Okay. Halo. Halos. We're in one way. Then we're going to change direction. Or if you want to do four or five one way, four or five other way, and repeat. It's up to you. What way you do it? Give me quick recoveries. Back to chest. Recover for a few seconds. Back in. And a couple more to do after this. Hang in there. If you've not changed direction, make sure you change. Next is a goblet squat. You're going to hold that kettlebell high, like you've got a goblet away. Keep those legs a bit wider if you need to. Push your butt low. Stand up. Goblet squat. Push low. Stand up. Good. Chest up, stay looking forward. No do should end up looking at the floor. So chest up, butt down. Keep those knees stacked above your ankles. If you're starting to lose it, get rid of the kettlebell. Do what you need to do to keep going.
Okay, next exercise, we're going to go for a side lunge and a high pull. You start the kettlebell low, left leg leads out to the side, big deep side lunge, one leg straight, other leg bent, knee follows toes, and as you push back in, catch the kettlebell with a high pull, take it back down, high pull catch. Let's go here now. Side lunge to high pull. Let's go. Butt down, chest up. You're starting to lose it. Don't go as deep. If you can go all the way down though. No. Hang in there, we're nearly there. Keep going, keep going. Change sides, if you haven't already. Hang in there. 10 seconds. Kettlebell jacks. Okay, last one, let's go. Check it out, push that kettlebell up. Option, tap side, push high. Tap side, push high. This is the last bit of work. If you need to get rid of the kettlebell, get rid of the kettlebell. Just jack it out. Do what you need to do. Keep going. 37 seconds to the recovery. Keep up. Remember the options here as well. 30 seconds. Push out. Bring in. If you need to slow down, slow down and join you. 20 seconds. Keep it up. Okay, everybody, push, 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 last 15 seconds. Dig in, do not stop. Eight seconds, you are there. And hold, recover. So keep those legs moving. Step side to side as your breathing comes back. Big, long, deep breath in. Big, long, deep breath out. So what you don't want to do is stand still when your heart rate is quite high because the blood will pull in your legs, it will drain away from your head, you may feel dizzy, faint and fall over. But you do not want to do that. So we just keep those legs moving until the heart rate starts to recover. If you want to walk around your room, walk around your room, do some heel digs. It's just about keeping those legs moving until that heart rate comes down. Okay, bring an arm across the front. Still keep those legs moving for now. Okay, change that left one heel, left the other heel. So just pump Hold those heels up and down, stretch back the shoulder. And the shoulder, take it back to tricep stretch. If you only go here, go here. So take it back as far as you're comfortable going. Good, sweep those arms out and bring the office arm across. Keep those heels going. So there was a bit of a mistake I made earlier on with those pendulum swings and lunges. If you redo this workout, follow the timer on the screen. Rather than what I say at that point, that will keep you right and keep you under the timer. Sweep it out again, stretch that chest and hold. Okay, slide the leg back, push your heel into the floor. Both feet parallel as if on train tracks, you should feel a stretch in the calf muscle at the back. If your foot's off to the side, you won't stretch your calf muscle. So push that heel into the floor. Most people have got really tight calf muscles. From there, step up into a quad stretch, draw your knee back, tuck your tailbone under. If you need to lean on a wall or a chair, do it. Sweep that same leg forwards and sit back into the stretch. So this time, front leg straight, back leg's bent, your back is flattened out. You should feel a stretch in the hamstring in this front leg. And really slide the other leg back, push your heel into the floor. 
step that up to quad stretch, draw your knee back, tuck your tailbone under, knees together if you can, don't cross your leg over when you do this stretch, you won't get a stretch, you won't stretch your quads. Sweep that leg folds, sit back into hamstrings, the front leg straight again, you should feel this in the back of your leg, step that back up, reach forward, drop your chin down, separate your shoulder blades, open your chest, shoulders back, and take a bow. We are done. Please let us know how that was in the comments. We have got a couple of more workouts planned, so hopefully we've got another yoga coming from Rebecca. Uh, I've also got a hit session planned, and a couple of other lads have got some sessions planned as well. Uh, we're hoping from this point on to release possibly a couple a week for as long as we are in lockdown. So please let us know how it goes in the comments. Let us know the kind of classes you want us to do. Uh, so we'll be doing some higher intensity stuff and some lower intensity stuff. So I've got some of that easy tone stuff planned as well. So that's going to come in the near future. Anyway, thanks very much and I'll see you next time.